Cinquecento isn't just an Italian car. The Cinquecento is an Italian symbol, and it's come a long way from 1957. But this new 500E stays true to the original design while ushering in a new era of mobility. Now the 500E was the third most registered EV in Europe, the first most registered in Germany and Italy, its home turf last year. Now make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I'm Luke and welcome to another episode of The Future is Electric. So it's a rare rainy day here in Malta, but little change of scenery, but nothing's going to stop the future. In fact, it is diesel out and electric in. Now back in 2013, Fiat released the Fiat 500 electric. Now that was a compliance car, a car which was built and made such that they will still be able to sell their normal powered vehicles in the states of California and Oregon. Things have changed. This new 500E is built from the ground up to be an electric vehicle. Now, if you own a Fiat 500E, we want to hear from you in the comments section below. What are your thoughts about the car as a long-term user? Let us know in the comments below. So with this car, you get a choice of one of two different sized battery packs, which I think is a great feature. You can choose with the, for the long range, which is a 42 kilowatt hour battery, of which 37 kilowatts are usable. Or you can go for the smaller, what they call their city range, which is a 23.7 kilowatt hour battery, of which 21.3 kilowatts are usable. Now those battery packs found under the passenger compartment, taking up the length of this very small vehicle, are being liquid cool. And this is a critical feature because it, that is the technology which guarantees this battery pack to last a long, long time. Unlike the battery packs in our phones and laptops, which are not being liquid cooled. Now, the larger battery pack has 192 individual cells. The smaller one, 108 individual cells. Now, those cells are coming from Samsung SDI, a long-term partner of Fiat. And they're opting for the NCM 622 chemistry, which means this battery pack is nickel, cobalt, and manganese. Now, the electric motor in this Fiat is an internal permanent magnet synchronous motor. And there are two different motors depending on which size battery you get for this vehicle. So the larger size battery is being paired with a stronger motor, delivering 116 brake horsepower. The smaller battery is packaged with a 94 horsepower motor, although both variants end up giving the same level of torque, 220 Newton meters, which means this small city car, when you put your foot down, she goes, because it's zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just nine seconds for a top speed of 150 kilometers per hour. Now, Fiat are giving us a number of regen modes to choose from. And yes, we have one pedal driving, which is an interesting feature we are not seeing in each brand of electric car, but Fiat have included it here. It's a completely new driving experience and something you have to try out for yourself. And I, I can speak for myself, once you try it and you're driving a car which has it, you don't go back. You use that brake pedal just for emergency purposes. And coming from a car with three pedals, which once you drive this would be something which is unheard of. Make sure you check out the one pedal driving on the Fiat 500e. This car has two charging options. Your AC charging on type two connection and your DC rapid charging on CCS. Now that AC charging is gonna charge at different speeds depending on where you connect the vehicle, but it does reach that maximum of 11 kilowatts on three phase supply. Now the charging times again vary depending on where you're plugging the car into and the size of the battery you've chosen for the vehicle, which is now I'm showing you a table of how long it will take to charge this, the two variants of this cars on AC, depending on where you're plugging this car into. Now DC rapid charging if you can access a DC rapid charger. And we have a few of them on the public network here in Malta. The smaller variant 
reaches 50 kilowatt of charge power. The larger battery variant of this car, 85 kilowatt maximum. Now, although the current public network maxes out at 50 kilowatts, this car, you can say, is future-proof because it can go at a faster rate than what is currently being offered on the road. Again, charging speeds and charging times, rather, being shown on screen depending on where you're going to plug in this vehicle. Now, that 85 kilowatt maximum DC charging speeds means you have a whole day's driving in just five minutes if you're going to have your coffee while you rapid charge the vehicle for a bit. So I popped the trunk of the car this morning and to my surprise, a type two to type two, three phase charging cable. I think this should be with every, come with every electric car. Not the case, right? But I was so happy to see it in the, in the Fiat 500. And that means you have the cable required to charge this car at that maximum 11 kilowatt speed. So I was very happy to see it. If you don't see it in the back of your new car, you're going to have to fork out an extra 200 or so euros for that after you've spent a lot of money on a new car. So fantastic thing to see that Fiat are including this Type 2 to Type 2 um, charging cable. I may have gotten a bit too excited about the wire there, but we'll keep going. So the WLTP range of this vehicle in the larger battery variant is 330 kilometers. Smaller battery variant, 190 kilometers. Now WLTP is a test, a test cycle that new cars are going through to establish how much range they truly give on a full charge. Now that test is being done at the exact same conditions for all cars and you have the car being driven so to speak at two, at a temperature of 25 degrees celsius and that's important because batteries operate best at 25 degrees celsius now here in malta we're never too far away from the 25 degrees celsius which is a good thing it means if you are a careful driver you're going to get some good range out of this vehicle and you're probably going to meet or exceed wltp in less than three years since the official launch of this 500e the car has won 37 international awards in nine different countries now that makes it the most awarded fiat 500 model ever so it's not only me who's excited about the new fiat 500 now this car isn't normal this car defines the new normal it's a car ideal for malta's small roads and even smaller parking base so I'd like to thank Motors Inc. and Fiat Malta for letting us review the 500e today. We can't thank the weather today, that's why we had to change scenery, but the weather is not going to stop the future. I'd like to say thank you to Peter for helping out with all the technical. Thank you to you, the viewer, for supporting the channel by hitting the subscribe button below. And if you want to help even more, you can check out the Patreon link also shown below. But as always, I hope I've convinced you that the future is electric.